I'm so excited today because I'm all about giving you feel good, fast ways to architect a life you love. Shopping for the best things at the best prices at TJ Maxx is absolutely at the top of my list. Tip number one, the most asked question I get is when to shop TJ Maxx for all the new arrivals. And honestly, the jury is really out on the very best day of the week, but I will tell you this, this store gets new arrivals five to sometimes up to seven days a week. I personally try to avoid Mondays, but I will try to do a midday Tuesday through Friday. I say midday because one of the pro tips that not many people know is by the time the store opens, most associates have sort of rolled up their sleeves and they're getting those racks ready. By 11 or 12 p.m., they're rolling those racks out. That early midday hour is gold for some of these new arrivals. And so if you go, make it a Tuesday through a Saturday, and I would say for sure midday. Tip number two, focus less on sale tags. I normally start in the new arrivals. I don't start in the clearance because the best stuff goes first. The deal at stores like TJ Maxx or Marshalls is in finding higher end brands that are negotiated off price. And most of those higher end brands are usually really good things. So they don't last long on the racks or at least long enough to usually drop to a red tag. Now, sometimes you get really lucky. Those are like really the good days at TJ Maxx when you see something super high end that has been discounted. So of course, like if you are in the runway section, that clearance rack is really good to go to the day the clearance rack gets marked down. Number three, if a size is out of stock, immediately go to the TJ Maxx app. TJ Maxx has made such progress the last two or three years in really getting their act together with the app. So if you see something you love and it's not in your size, don't fret. Just open up that app. You just go right down to runway on the app and you'll see there's a much smaller category of women's arrivals, for example, and then you can categorize by A to Z or Z to A. In addition, go to Marshall's. That app also has a somewhat different selection and you can search the exact same way. Number four, if you see an item that you really love, but it's still a little bit pricey, I open my phone and go to Google and I search it. There are a lot of people who are sourcing the same thing that you're loving at their own TJ Maxx in their own state, city, town. So don't forget to check Poshmark or eBay or any other reseller site for your size and potentially at a better discount than TJ Maxx is selling it for. Number five, Italian made is always consistently good quality. I haven't seen one Italian made thing coming from TJ Maxx online or in store that I haven't been somewhat impressed with, even if it wasn't for me. This is like true quiet luxury. Um, I think this whole Italian made section is really underrated. It is real leather. Um, so much of it is priced way under the retail value. And I just really love the Euro style of so many of the things that they sell. So both online and in store, Italian made is a way to really feel like you are wearing gorgeous, beautiful, high quality things without having sort of all the label name brands, if that makes sense. Okay, next one, spend time in the long racks of every section. The long racks are where most of the one-of-a-kind pieces and online returns are hanging out. And this is where you are going to find the cool stuff. This is one of the best kept secrets of TJ Maxx. And that is, just like I told you to go to the app to search, that piece that you're buying online has a 50-50 chance you're gonna like it or you're gonna return it. And when you do return it, it goes back into those long racks. And some of those things you're buying could be really cool high-end things that you want someone to find. Might not be a good day for you, but it's a really good day for the person who finds it, who loves it, who fits into it, et cetera, et cetera. So when you're looking through those long racks, you wanna look for the online return tag. And that tag is going to look like this. 
And you, you see it everywhere. You see it in the shoes, you see it in the home goods, you can see it in every single section in this store. People can return everything. And it's sort of the store made tag that is telling you that this is probably the only piece in the store like this. Okay, so be on the lookout. And the spirit of looking through the long racks isn't just to find random things, it's actually to find those one of a kinds. Next one spend time in the wrong sizes. These long racks won't fail you when it comes to where things are put back because you know this, if you love to shop, sometimes you see things in the wrong size. Don't be afraid to look in sizes that aren't your own for pieces that could be perfect for you. Another place to spend time is around the mirrors. Sometimes you can find the treasure you never knew you were looking for next to those mirrors. So as you shop around, just notice where those mirrors are and what pieces are hanging there. There is one clearance section that I have really been eyeing and looking at and finding things over the last, I would say six months. And that's the clearance inside of the athletic wear section. I know this sounds strange, but one of the things I've said so many times is shopping off season is where you're going to always get the best deal. And right now, bathing suits are going out of season for TJ Maxx. So we have a lot of online returns. We have a lot of really good, beautiful bathing suits, very one of a kind pieces all in the clearance section. And there's some other things too, like I'm seeing a lot of Peloton brand. That's interesting. A lot of champion. So if there's one clearance section, I would say don't miss, it would be the one in the athletic wear section. When it comes to shoes, the thing that I'm always looking for in the shoes are the Italian leather. I think it does depend on the store, but be looking for the made in Italy shoes. When I gave you that tip earlier, I meant it. Made in Italy is good stuff. The piece about this though is Italian sizing and US sizing can be a little bit off. So look at both your size and a size up for all the beautiful Italian leather shoes you can find. Additionally, this is another place I want you to look for those online returns. These are the one of a kind shoes that you're going to want to try on if the shoe fits. I want you to think about TJ Maxx like a grocery store. You know how when we look at our health, people say, try to shop the outskirts of the grocery store the best you can, like all the process stuff's in the center. I think that we can think about TJ Maxx similarly. Hitting the outer edges first, depending on how your store is designed, allows you to see sort of the handbags, the shoes, uh, the runway section. The outer edges are where the gold is, and that's where you're gonna find contemporary lines and even your athletic wear. So think about it like a grocery store, hit the outer edges first. The last tip, which truly leads me into potentially an upcoming video, make sure you comment below if this sounds like something you would watch, but it's really knowing what to skip at TJ Maxx. There are a lot of brands that make their products for TJ Maxx. That doesn't mean they're bad products. It just means that we may not be getting the treasures that we're there to find. The Kate Spade and the Michael Kors, it's manufactured for TJ Maxx. That's not the thing you're buying at Neiman Marcus. So I want us to just pay attention, especially when it comes to department by department. You may think you're getting a deal on, but you're not really. And being mindful of some of these tips I gave you will help you really laser in on where the best quality for the best price pieces are. I love, love shopping with you. I hope this helps you feel good fast and really love how you look and feel in the mirror. Thanks for shopping with me. I'll see you next time.